left as pure as gold and will never break. We know what's at stake. I was a wild away. Yeah, yeah. So why is this type of record interesting? Basically, it condenses all the hard work during six, seven years. We put everything to the test. Since I'm a mechanic from the beginning, I have a good understanding of what needs to be checked before doing these kind of runs. Everything needs to be perfect. Tires, suspension, the gearbox, the clutches, the engine, the aero, the wheels, the brakes. Maximum stress, because it is a big performance challenge in one very short period of time. There is no other test like this. That's what makes it exciting. Yes, we feel everything. The RPM is way higher. It's just screaming. I can't really compare it to another streetcar driven. It's just another level. This type of scenarios I kind of dreamt about. A new world record, we beat ourselves again, which has sort of become a thing for us. To be able to step out of a car uh, and just on a record, hugging my colleagues and so on, that's uh, something you dream about. We will keep on pushing every time, every year, racing the bar. So here we are again at Örebro Airport in Sweden on a sunny day, almost exactly a year ago since we set the Regera world record for 0 to 400 kilometers per hour back to zero again and 0 to 250 miles per hour and back to zero again. But this year we're here with the Jesko Absolute, a completely different car. There is no uh, batteries in this car apart from 12 volts. It's a V8 engine with 1600 horsepower running on renewable fuel E85. It's got our LST 9-speed gearbox. This is the low drag top speed version. So it has an advantage going from 0 to 400 and 0 to 250 miles per hour. And then it doesn't have any active arrow flipping up or a lot of downforce creating extra drag when braking or helping to brake. So it's all mechanical braking. So still, this managed to beat our own record from last year. We have a habit of beating our own records, which is quite interesting. But we managed to improve the zero to 400 and zero to 250 miles per hour time so much that even though it was one second slower in braking without all those arrow helps and drag from downforce, it, the total time still became substantially improved. And what a day. Marcus, please come in. Amazing. Amazing. Again, yeah, this again. is like deja vu. We were here uh, a year ago doing exactly the same thing, exact weather. same weather. Yeah, like so I guess uh, we need to come back next year. Yeah, what exactly. do you say? What are we bringing then? But how was your experience if you compared the two? You have all the gear shifting and then the high pitch V8 just screaming in the back. So it's, uh, it's, it's more eventful. More visceral. Yeah, more visceral. So let's say, even though the times end up not too different, exactly. uh, it's a completely different experience. With the Regera, it's like a very relaxed, super fast, exactly. very effortless. competent, effortless. This yeah. is visceral and more wild. Yeah. 
So I guess pros and cons in a way. Exactly. You feel like when you reach your almost 400, this is way more slippery through the air. It just keeps on going. But braking, you don't have that assistance of no. the drag from downforce exactly. or the flip up wing. Yep. But, we, bit, but, but we all know what this is supposedly is capable in top speed. And then we need that setup. Yep. And of course, we want to talk about the top speed record as well. And we have done a lot of preparation. Now it's really down to the tires to have the tires approved for this speed. Then we will be ready to go. So we're hoping that can happen in the, in, in the very near future as well. So yeah, very exciting times, very impressive, very well driven. And this is the first time ever a production car has done zero to 250 miles per hour under 20 seconds and a beautiful time of 18.8 to 400 and back down again to zero in 27.83 seconds. Amazing. Cheers guys.